center line. Let's take a look down from above and see how close Downing does get to it. Left side of your screen, you're going to see that thing get out of the group. It just kind of drives right over there. It looked like he touched the center line possibly, but no foul, no harm, no foul. Fast Jack Beckman. He has not yet gotten down the track. He's trying to get into this funny car field, trying to get his shot at the U.S. Nationals. You talk about concentration. Look at that man's eyes. Off of that relieves the pressure so the body doesn't come flying off of the chassis. But here, the birth panel went off, but then the body was right behind it, splits it apart, and pieces were flying everywhere. Wow. You are talking a lot of energy to make that happen. One other look for you. Wow. Ho <laughs> ho! Some good camera work catching that, huh? Yeah, that's great. And you see the safety safari right away goes for the parts and pieces. I want to get that track cleared. Like I said, it's unusual for that to happen because here's the burst panel right up here. Now. That's a hang time. Well, the next pair, Jack Beckman, can he get into the field? And Jerry Tolliver, they are on the line right now. Bob Bodie's car, boy, you know, look at that. That was $40,000 worth of junk right there. You're not using any of that. Yeah, you're not going to pass that one back together. Wow. And the car itself, they were able to just tow it on back uh, to the staging lanes and onto the pits, and hopefully they will get that other body on it, and he will be ready to go. But now there is the question. Jack Beckman, is he going to be able to make it into the field? Third. In 2007, it's his best Indy start. This is his fourth race here. From ignition problems, being car being over center, backing it off too much. I love Johnny West's comment. He says the Murphys have moved into our car. Both wow. Tolliver and Beckman get down. Quickest run of the session. It's a 4.11 for Tolliver, a 4.16 for Beckman. Tolliver moves up to six. Beckman from 17th into 14th. And Bob Bodie will not get in to the 55th running to the Mac Tools U.S. Nationals presented by Lucas Oil. How about that, Jerry Tolliver? Big Jim Dunn, my dad. He had the tune-up on that thing. It was about 263 miles per hour at the eighth. A 411 at 302 miles per hour gets him into the number six spot. And just a few moments ago, Dave Reef caught up with Robert Height, the number one qualifier for the moment. Well, the grin on Robert's face pretty much says it all. I think this man's feeling a lot more confident now. <laughs> 